Hello and welcome to Horror GPT, where imagination and AI conspire to bring you campfire ready horror stories. I'm your host and narrator, Nayo Kenza Oliver. The Boutique. Prompt. Write a horror story about an obnoxious, religious, homophobic baby boomer who gets more than she bargained for after she demands to speak to the manager in order to complain about pride merchandise at a popular boutique with a demonic secret. Once upon a time, in the quaint town of Ashward, there stood a popular boutique called Enchanted Elegance. It was known for its unique collection of clothing, accessories, and trinkets that bewitched the townsfolk with their charm. However, within the walls of this seemingly innocent store, a sinister secret lay hidden, waiting to reveal itself. Enter Mildred Beaumont, a notorious figure in Ashwood. She was an obnoxious, religious, and deeply homophobic baby boomer. Her narrow-minded views and incessant need to complain about anything she deemed immoral made her infamous among the locals. She had an unwavering belief that the world was going to the devil, and she saw it as her duty to set things right. One sunny afternoon, Mildred strode into enchanted elegance with her head held high, her judgmental eyes scanning the shelves filled with vibrant pride merchandise, her face twisted with disdain as she muttered disapprovingly under her breath. The rainbow-colored clothing and accessories offended her deeply, and she couldn't fathom why anyone would celebrate such a sinful lifestyle. Summoning all of her audacity, Mildred approached the store's counter and demanded to speak to the manager. Her voice dripped with superiority as she unleashed a tirade about the immorality of promoting the LGBTQ community. The store manager, Sarah, a young woman with a compassionate heart, listened patiently but struggled to hide her annoyance at Mildred's bigotry. Unbeknownst to both of them, the shop itself had a demonic secret. It had been constructed atop an ancient burial ground where restless spirits resided. The energy mingled with the merchandise, transforming the boutique into a nexus of otherworldly power. The spirits were not to be trifled with, and they were growing tired of Mildred's haughty attitude. As Mildred's complaints reached the zenith, a shiver ran down her spine but she brushed it off as a mere chill. The manager, Sarah, nervously tried to placate her, offering apologies and attempting to explain the store's inclusive stance. However, Mildred remained unyielding, her voice growing louder and more venomous by the second. Suddenly, the air in the boutique grew dense, and the once calm atmosphere became charged with an eerie presence. The walls began to pulsate, emanating an otherworldly hum that sent tremors through the floor. The demonic spirit, stirred by Mildred's unrelenting arrogance, had decided to respond to her insolence. Without warning, the boutique's merchandise began to twist and contort, transforming into grotesque animated forms. The pride clothing took on monstrous shapes, with rainbow threads weaving themselves into malicious tentacles. Accessories morphed into jagged claws, glinting with an ethereal light. The trinkets seemed to come alive, emitting malevolent whispers that echoed through the store. Mildred's face turned pale as she realized the gravity of the situation. Panic gripped her heart as the once static pride merchandise lunged at her, seeking retribution for her intolerance. She stumbled backward, but the demonic creatures pursued her relentlessly, their twisted forms encircling her. In her final moments, Mildred Beaumont saw the error of her rays. Her prejudiced beliefs had unleashed a darkness beyond her comprehension, one that now sought to consume her. As the monstrous pride merchandise closed in, the spectral glow illuminating her horrified face. Mildred's screams echoed through the boutique. 
The next day, Ashwood awoke to a chilling sight. Enchanted elegance stood empty, its doors locked, and its windows shuttered. The townsfolk whispered about the disappearance of Mildred Beaumont, with some attributing it to her loudmouth arrogance finally catching up to her. Others believed that the demonic secret hidden within the boutique had claimed its latest victim. To this day, enchanted elegance remains a haunting reminder of the consequences that await those who choose to spread hate and intolerance. The spirits of the ancient burial ground continue to dwell within, ever watchful, ensuring that the lessons learned from Mildred Beaumont's fate are not forgotten. The End